Hello everyone, this is Luxury PL38. Today's video I got an unboxing for you and it's been a while because I haven't actually done quite a lot of unboxing and this particular one, it has been on my wish list, especially when Gucci releases the bag, I think a few months ago, early this year, and I managed to get it from Luisa Fiaroma and that is Luisa Fiaroma packaging and they are based in Europe and one thing I like about Luisa Fiaroma is you actually pay for everything. So when they ship it overseas to your country, you don't need to pay for any other taxes, import, custom. Because Luisa Fiaroma, they actually cover all the costs. So what you see on their website, the price itself, that covers everything. So that is one thing I love shopping from Luisa Fiaroma and this video is not sponsored by them. I actually know Luisa Fiaroma for 10 years now and I've always shot from them whenever I want to get some contemporary brand such as Saint Laurent, Valentino, Gucci and they do have other contemporary brands. So let's actually do the unboxing together. I have not seen this item in real life because apparently it was sold out here in Canada and for some reason it just doesn't appear on their website anymore but maybe because of the low inventory so let's have a look at the I love the new Gucci color and the box and I actually purchased the Saint Laurent item as well which is the Let's actually have a look at the Saint Laurent first and this is actually my first ever Saint Laurent cut holder. I've always wanted to have a Saint Laurent cut holder because of the YSL logo and I absolutely love the fact that they released the burgundy color and this is in the caviar ladder. I'm not sure whether they call it caviar but this is actually in the grain calf skin as you can see and with the gold hardware it just looks amazing and i believe this is actually priced at um 300 just under 400 canadian dollars so it's priced about 370 or i believe it was 380 and it is priced very very reasonable compared to chanel or um even dior let me have a look So that is the logo over there and um, I think this is the inside. So let's unbox the second item and this is the one that I am very excited. This is the Gucci mini bag. Oh wow, this is very very small. I think it was released early this year, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this is the Gucci monogram with the top handle. And this is more like a box. So you press that to open it up. And it's just all the tags from Gucci and I am just gonna take this out because basically you can just pull it out and this is the strap so you can actually take the strap out and just use this as a clutch see how you can just slide the strap out or you can obviously put the strap in and Use this as a crossbody. Obviously, you can adjust for it to be shoulder back or crossbody. But I absolutely love the compact and how tiny it is, how mini it is. And I am going to do a comparison with the Dior box 
30 Montan because I do own the 30 Montan bag from Dior with the box versions of it which is the smaller versions of the 30 Montan. I'm going to compare the size and probably what fits between those two and this is actually priced very reasonably. I believe it was just under 1500 Canadian dollars so it is priced very reasonable but this is in canvas the monogram Gucci GG all over but it does have the ladder here the flat and it is also ladder on the strap and the top handle is actually fixed so as you can see it is not adjustable and you can't actually it is very sturdy it is fixed and sturdy and let me just show you the inside it has one cut slot over here and there's nothing else on the front and it has that microfiber interior which is very nice and this particular one is made in Italy I believe so there you go and um, once again thank you so much for watching and please stay tuned for my comparison video with the Dior 30 Montan box.